Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is just going to be a short little video about my Armor Granite Voltage two-wheel drive after owning it for a while and bashing it for a while and uh, just give you a rundown of the how durable it is and uh, and, and, and the problem uh, you may have with this over time. Uh, well, I, I will say this, this truck for the price is a good bashing truck especially it's a good starter truck i mean it's two-wheel drive you don't have too many components to uh have to worry about replacing or dealing with but uh it is fine just the way it is out the box but i changed mine up so uh i actually put a brushless system in here and i changed the body up uh the body that came with it it was so flimsy and thin that it cracked open So I just uh, went with this Proline uh, F-150 Raptor body, which I actually had it for another truck, but decided to just go ahead and put it on this. But uh, so I'm just looking at it right now without, with the shell on there. The things I've changed so far on the outskirts is the tires. Uh, these tires, uh, they're better for grip, especially for off-road and dirt. Uh, Cause the ones that come with them, the ones that come with the truck, they're not too bad, but they're not just good either. I mean, so I did change those out and, and put these on here. And I also put this T-bone bumper on the front, which it does well. Now T-bone has a bumper for the rear, but I didn't put one on. I didn't get one. I just left it like it was. Uh, they have one and it also comes with a uh, willy bar on it but i left it as as stock uh, so i'm gonna take the shell off here and let you all see what i've done up under here get it off here so as you see i put a dust cover on it that helps keep a lot of that debris out and dust or whatnot and i did put some gorilla tape on the uh body post here just to give it a little cushion because that was the one of the problems i had with the stock body uh bashing and falling on the roof it actually started cracking around uh where the body put where it uh, mounts at so so that's one of the major things you would come across too with this truck uh that shell is gonna crack up uh, i don't know about the new one uh, I don't know if they made it thick or what, but uh, this one right here, like I said, that body lasts me, mm, that body lasts me a week, <laughs> one week before it totally just, man, I mean, split, but uh, let's get to the, to the uh, good, so what I end up doing, like I said, I put this on here, just to help with keeping it clean. I mean, it still will get a little bit dirty, but not as much as uh as it would without it. So uh I'm trying to do this with one hand. I think I'm good here. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so what I did do is I made it brushless. Yep, I took the took the brush system out of here and uh, I went brushless as you see this is the motor down there uh, I went with a uh, 3100 kV let's see if you can see that yep I went with a 3100 kV motor and the ESC I have is a 60 amp it's just a 60 amp uh, I don't know if you can see that 
60 amp brushless ESC. And I'm still running the stock gears in it. I didn't change the gears, so the gears are still stock. And uh, so what I want to kind of get to right now is telling you the weak points on this truck. That's what I'm going to get to. So the things I've had to change or repair on this truck uh, were the drive cups. The drive cups on this truck are plastic and they go into the metal drive shaft. So they will strip over time, especially when you, if you're bashing, you landing and all that, they're going to strip. It's an easy fix and it's a cheap fix, but that's a weak point on this truck is those plastic drive cup, out drive cups. And, uh, so I suggest you buy you if they come, they come in pairs. So I suggest you buy you a few pairs of them and, and you'll be good with that. Okay. And another thing that's a weak point on this truck is the plastic servo saver. I don't know if you can see, I'm going to try to get you in there and see it. Let's see. There it is. What you see, they don't want piece there. That's the servo saver. Uh, it's plastic with a spring inside of it and uh, it will over time bashing and jumping it's just gonna break it's the look got a little uh, center plastic piece where, where the screw goes and where is it where it actually attaches to the servo and it will break so I will say this if you do change a servo like I did because I didn't have a choice uh, if you do change that servo, tighten it just enough. Don't over tighten it. Uh, but even with that being said, by it being plastic, it's going gonna, it's gonna to over time just uh, break on you. So be prepared for that. And that was a cheap fix to, uh, I think it was about, I want to say it was six or seven bucks for the servo saver. And uh, so... Another thing, if you do want to make it brushes like I did, you're going to have to change out a few things. You're going to have to change out your receiver because it's a two-in-one receiver. It's your receiver and ESC, so you're going to have to change that out. So I went with one I had laying around, which is uh, from Exceed, I believe it is. Yeah, that's the Exceed uh, one I had laying around. And then I put a 25 uh kg servo in here so and i did that because i got these big wheels on here they look they're a little bit heavier than the stock wheels so i had to yeah give a little strength behind the uh steering so i had to get that 25 kg servo so i did that and really that's it i mean uh i pretty much just got i got everything mounted up on top with tape and then I got the uh, the ESC. I got it, you know, supported with a zip tie, so just to make sure it doesn't come uh, come loose while I'm bashing or whatever. So, but again, like I said, this truck is a good ninety nine dollar bash. I mean, you can't really beat that price point, and you getting you getting a uh, what can I say? You getting a lot for it. I mean, you getting it's it's a hobby grade truck it has replacement parts it has ground clearance uh now uh i haven't had to do anything with the shocks the shocks are uh like i said stock i haven't did anything to it uh like i said other than adding this t-bone bumper right and and you know like i said changing out the electronics to make it brushless uh other than that or other than the two weak points on this truck, uh, I don't see you having an issue with it. Uh, the servo saver, it just, it just uh, broke on me the other day. And I've had this truck for probably, I've had this truck for six months now. And like I said, the only two things that broke on me are the two plastic out drive cups and the plastic uh and the plastic servo saver 
But other than that, the truck is good. Uh, I mean, it's better out there, more expensive out there, but I mean, this is what you get. I mean, I've never had to do it. I've, I've crashed this truck before and nothing broke on it. Uh, nothing broke on it. I mean, you can see a lot of the scratches and skids, but other than that, that's it. That's all you're getting. That's all you're going to get. Uh, the shocks, I mean, they, they do well uh, for bashing and jumping. I mean, uh, compared to some of the other uh, two-wheel drive uh, monster trucks, I think this is the one of the better ones. Uh, all I can tell you, though, invest in a T-bone bumper. Front and rear, really, if you want, but I knew the front would be uh, where the brunt of the impact would be at. This dust cover is actually for the Traxxas Max, uh, but I made it fit for the two-wheel drive voltage, so it does its job. All right, guys, this is it for this video. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Y'all be safe.